Welcome to the Thursday, April 11th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, how fish factors into fast food raw material costs among the major proteins. And later, the chicken leg quarter market springs into action. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Carl's Jr. and Hardy's restaurant operator CKE Restaurants has opened its 500th international location with the launch of its latest chain in St. Petersburg, Russia. The 500 store milestone is part of CKE's international expansion plans, which saw the opening of 148 new international restaurants over the last two years, marking the first time in that company's history that international development outpaced domestic growth. In fact, the company plans to double its international presence in the next five years, with Ted Nyerly, Executive Vice President of International Development for CKE, saying, with their enthusiasm and passion for developing the brand, we are confident that our goal of opening our 1,000th international Carl's Jr. and Hardy's restaurant within the next five years is very achievable. For more on CKE's international expansion and for other Center of the Plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. In other news, we continue our coverage of rising protein raw material costs at the quick service restaurant level with a look at how fish costs stack up against beef and chicken prices. Here's Ernerberry staff writer Michael Ramsing. In yesterday's show, we analyzed the rise in the cost of beef raw materials used at the fast food level to make sandwich and other menu items versus chicken. And today, we explore how the rising costs of both beef and chicken raw materials compares to that of fish at the QSR level. As it turns out, the raw material costs of frozen pollock blocks, the item most commonly used to produce fast food to fish items, have remained steady and is now the lowest cost protein available to QSR operators. According to Erner Berry quotations, twice frozen imported pollock blocks are now $1.30 per pound. Meanwhile, single frozen deep skin pollock prices have also come down and are averaging about $1.55 a pound. Compare this with Ernerberry prices for 50% and 90% chemical lean beef, the items most commonly used in the fast food burger patty production. Since 2009, prices are up on average 24 and 53% respectively, which has driven up the overall cost of this popular hamburger patty formulation. Meanwhile, advances in chicken prices have been caused by the industry's effort to combat the high price of corn by reducing production. This effort has taken place over the last year and a half, in particular as the price of corn has been tracked right around $6.50 to $7 a bushel. Additionally, good export movement has come into play. So, with fish prices comparatively be cheaper to beef and chicken raw material costs at the QSR level, it will be interesting to see if the food service industry will attempt to take advantage of the cheaper protein option, whether it be with new menu items or increased seafood promotions. Thanks, Michael. To wrap up today's news, Erner Berry Chicken Market reporter James Serbico explains a spring season revival in the chicken leg quarter market. Relative to most of the other items making up Erner Berry's chicken complex, leg quarters tend to be one of the less volatile in this group. More recently, however, seasonal activity has provided some vigor to these markets. As is typical for early spring, the leg quarter market has experienced an advance in price over the last few weeks, jumping from 49 cents per pound in late February to 52 cents per pound by April 10th. This progress has bulk leg quarters positioned exactly one cent higher than their quotation from just a year ago. What's more surprising is the fact that this level is well above the figure recorded at the same time in 2011. This transformation begs the question of whether or not a new trend line has been created for leg quarters in the wake of the production cutbacks that have been performed over the last few years. As it stands now, the leg quarter market is seasonally secure with contracts out front valued at relatively steady price points. Thanks James, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.